Hi there, I am Mrs. Birthday. Thank you so much for joining me for some more phonemic awareness work. These activities are really important for you to be doing every single day as they help you develop some skills that are really important for learning to read. And even if you've watched my videos already, you can definitely go back and watch them again because they will just keep building on those skills to help you with the reading skills that you need to learn. So, First off, we're going to start with some rhyming activities. This one is a little bit different to what we've been doing. I'm going to say a nonsense word or a made up word. And then what you need to do is you need to think of what the real word is that rhymes with that. So it's just going to be kind of like a little bit of a game. So if I said the word fizzes, you would say not fizzes, scissors. So they're all going to be things that are found within a classroom. Let's have a go. My word is nesk. You would say, not nesk, desk. The next one, jable. And you might have said, not jable, table. The next one, plock. Not plock, clock. The next one, zeitz. Hmm, not zeitz, lights. The next word, seons. Something that rhymes with seons. Hmm, not seons, crayons. Something that rhymes with feeling. Not feeling, ceiling. Something that rhymes with bear. Not bear, chair. Zor. Not zor, door. Tensile. Not tensile, pencil. The next job is the first sound in words. So I'm going to say two words. I want you to repeat those two words and then show me with a thumbs up if they both begin with the same beginning sound. If they don't have the same beginning sound, I want you to put your thumbs down. So I'll say the two words first, then you'll repeat them and show me either thumbs up for, um, for the same first sound or thumbs down if they have a different first sound. So the first one, mum, make. So you should have said, mum, make, yes, because they both start with a mmm sound. The next two, help, happy. Help, happy. Yep, both start with the same beginning sound. Pie, cake. Mm -mm. Pie, cake, not the same beginning sound. I'll leave it for you now to do the rest of them. Boat, big. Kite, bite. No, yes. Walk, run. Zip, zap. Cry, jet. Will, well. Good job. The next activity, we will be blending some syllables. So this is going to be a new hand action, which we haven't done before. We're gonna put our hands together like this to make choppers. And you're gonna chop from the left to the right. And then we're going to put the word together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say two syllables and then you're going to repeat them and then put it together to make the word. So if I said magnet, you would say magnet, magnet. Okay, the next one, napkin. So you should have said napkin, napkin. All right, 
let's keep going. You can have a go now. Bliss ter. Good, the word was blister. Mound ten. Chill drin. E go. Bass get. In set. Sis ter. Can D. Great job. The next activity we are going to be doing is we are going to be looking at the sound at the end. So just like we did last week is I will say a word, then you are going to repeat it and punch out the sound at the end. So if I said could, you would say could d. The next one, self. Could. Does. Done. For. What. Said. Have. Whole. Week. Great job. The next activity is another syllable activity, but this time we'll be breaking it up. So I'm going to say the whole word. Then I want you to copy the whole word and then you're going to break it into the two syllables. So remember you go from the left to the right. Okay, so you're mirroring my hands. So I'll say the word first and then you'll repeat. Can we practice with pencil? Then you would say pencil. Pen pencil. Good job. The next one, gentle. Laughter. Flower. Snowing. Table. Center. Kindness. Member. Dinner. Good job. The next one is we are going to be substituting some of our syllables. So we'll be changing them. So like we've done in the past, we're going to start with our hands together like this. And then your left hand is the first part of the word. Your right hand is the second part. So I will say the whole word. Then I want you to repeat the whole word. And then I'll ask you to change part of it. So let's have a practice. Can you say teaching? Change teach to draw, the word is drawing. Can you say bravest? Change brave for small, the word is smallest. Can you say smallest? Change small for loud, the word is loudest. Can you say loudest? Change loud for tall, the word is tallest. Can you say tallest? Change tall for large, the word is largest. Say largest. Change large for bright, the word is brightest. Say brightest. Change bright for low, the word is lowest. Can you say highest? Change high for fast, the word is fastest. Can you say fastest? Change fast for old, the word is oldest. Can you say oldest? Change old for kind, the word is kindest. The next job that we are going to be doing is adding some syllables. So we will start with P 
part of a word showing me your left hand. Remember, it's my right hand because you're mirroring me. And then we will add the next syllable and clap it together to make the whole word. So let's have a practice. If I said nap, you would say nap. Add kin, the word is napkin. Can you say in? Add volve, the word is involve. Can you say in? Add vent, the word is invent. Can you say in? Add come, the word is income. Can you say in? Add sect, the word is insect. Can you say in? Add stinct, the word is instinct. Can you say six? Add teen, the word is 16. Can you say six? Add T, the word is 60. Say win. Add ter, the word is winter. Say win. Add do, the word is window. The next job is similar to that one, but we will be taking part of the word away. So we'll be deleting a syllable. So we'll start with the whole word, and remember your left word will be the left hand will be the first part of the word, right hand will be the second part. And I will say, can you say tablet? You would say tablet. Without tab, the word is let. Let's have another go. Can you say forget? Without get, the word is for. Can you say forty? Without for, the word is T. Can you say forgot? Without for, the word is got. Can you say begin? Without gin, the word is be. Can you say besides? Without be, the word is slides. Can you say report? Without r, the word is port. Can you say insect? Without sect, the word is in. Can you say income? Without in, the word is come. The last job we will be doing is a sentence together. So I will say the sentence first, and then you will copy me and count how many words are in the sentence as well. So we will start with, I love Berenbutt East State School. Six, school is fun. I raise my hand. I can sit still. Books are fun to read. I love to play. Will you be my friend? I like playing. Great! Thank you again for joining me for Phonemic Awareness. I hope that you keep watching all of my videos. Remember, you can watch ones that you have already viewed previously because anything that you re-watch, you will still be learning the really important skills needed for reading. Thank you again. Bye.